My name is Larry Capper. I'm the safety instructor for excavator and wheel loader hydraulic couplers for Pallet and Heavy Construction Company. I've been working with construction and industrial construction machinery for over 45 years. It is important to know and understand proper installation, maintenance, and operation of quick coupler devices to protect you and others from injury. There is only one way to safely attach and detach an excavator coupler properly. Out of all the reported and investigated coupler accidents involving injury and death, only two have been equipment failures. The other 98% of the accidents were either operator errors due to carelessness or lack of proper training. The above statistics include all coupler manufacturers that market products within the United States. One of Pallet and Heavy Construction's main objectives in designing and building couplers is to make them as safe as possible. Please pay close attention and always follow what I call the rules of the dirt. There is no such thing when using hydraulic couplers as shortcuts or being half safe. Remember, you the operator for the last line of defense against preventing an accident. JRB manufactures and markets five different models of couplers. The first is a JRB pin lock coupler with a safety locking pin. The second is a JRB smart lock coupler with a lock arm and slide plate assembly. The third is a JRB VersaLock coupler, which is a pin grabber style that locks onto the link pin and a secondary mechanical device that locks onto the stick pin with a set of gravity locking bars. The fourth is a JRB Miller Bug coupler, which is a pin grabber style coupler with a blocking bar. The fifth is a JRB Miller Power Latch coupler, which is a pin grabber style coupler that incorporates the ABS system, which is an advanced secondary locking system onto the stick pin. All the above couplers incorporate a check valve into the coupler cylinder to stop any accidental bucket or tool release in the event of a hose failure. Hydraulic coupler safety. These are the rules of the dirt. Number one, never touch a coupler control switch or button until the coupler is fully curled. It is advisable to have the dipper stick in the vertical or closer to the cab position. Number two, never make a lift with a coupler while attaching it to any point except the coupler lift die. Always remove the bucket or attachment first prior to making any lift for two major reasons. A, takes the weight of the bucket out of the lift equation. B, visibility. And three, and most important, of the three rules of the dirt or always perform the ground test after installing any attachment. Place dipper stick somewhat vertical, bucket flat on the ground, hammer on its back, ripper on its back, carefully place the tamper on its backside. Place down pressure on the boom, raise the front of the tracks off approximately six inches with engine at mid to high RPMs, uncurl the coupler, push the dipper stick out at the same time. If the coupler is properly attached, it will stay mated up and you're ready to go to work. To connect the coupler to the bucket or attachment, make sure the coupler's light plate is fully retracted. If not, fully curl the coupler with the dipper stick in the vertical position or closer to the cab. Move the switch or push the button and hold momentarily so the wedge goes in a full retracted position. Uncurl the coupler and fully seat the front pin slot onto the dipper stick pin assembly. Continue to curl the coupler to fully seat the link pin in its proper location come to full curl position with the bucket or attachment slightly off the ground. Once a full curl, then and then only activate or move the switch or push the button while continuing to hold the bucket curl lever over center, building hydraulic pressure to max relief for three to five seconds. Place the attachment on the ground and perform the ground test as previously stated. You can curl the stick in closer to the cab and raise the boom up and you can see the slide in the lock position underneath the pin as it should be. Note, if you're using a pin lock JRB coupler, you must place the lock bar through the coupler prior to doing the ground test. To unlock coupler from attachment, if you're using a JRB interim style coupler, remove the safety bar first. Fully curl the coupler. Once fully curled, select or move the switch or button to unlock position and hold for two seconds while holding the bucket lever over relief at mid to high RPMs. The wedge should retract in approximately three to five seconds. When you select unlock, the light will come on, the buzzer will sound, 
place attachment on the ground or at rest and uncurl the coupler and remove the attachment. If you are removing the attachment to make a lift, you may want to go back to full curl position, relock the wedge so the buzzer and light don't distract you from the lift you're about to perform. Before reattaching, you must go back to full curl and repeat the unlock procedure to fully retract the slide assembly. A couple of safety notes. If in case a new coupler is installed, or repair is made to any portion of the hydraulic system which is connected to the coupler components. The following should always be performed. Go to the full curl position with the coupler and cycle the coupler cylinder fully retracted and fully extended 25 to 30 times at mid to high RPMs. This is to make sure that any air that might be trapped in the coupler system is removed. Do not perform above attachment while attached to any tool. If a hydraulic leak is detected, Never use your hand to locate the exact location of the leak. Place a piece of cardboard and always wear safety glasses and gloves. All couplers are held with hydraulic fluid. Any leak must be repaired immediately. When a coupler is installed on an excavator, the reach is extended. Be very careful. If you raise the boom high, curl the stick in with the bucket in a flat position, you very well could hit the cab. Inside the cab, there should be the safety decals on the right window along with the safety card and an operator and parts manual. First and foremost, please be sure to follow all manufacturers safety regulations. Maintenance, safety, and operation must always be followed and foremost, please remember, follow the rules of the dirt. One, never touch the coupler switcher button until the coupler is fully curled. Two, never lift from any other position except the coupler lift die. And three, and most important, always do the ground test after putting any bucket or tool onto the excavator coupler.